So I decided to start walking, enjoying nature, and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna make a video. Nursing has become very sad. It has become very depressing. And it takes a lot to make me depressed. It does, it takes a lot. But when I go to work every day and I'm seeing great nurses, great nurse assistants, respiratory therapists, I'm seeing wonderful physicians just distressed. I feel like we're all aged since this whole pandemic. I feel like people that I've seen, I feel like we all look five years older than we did before this pandemic started. That's stress. And I just want to talk about why is it we're losing so many nurses? Why is nurses leaving? What's happening to our healthcare system? Nobody wants to sit us down and have a conversation with us. Nobody wants to form an intervention, if that's what you want to call it, to try to find out how to keep the nurses. But what they're doing is they are talking about recruiting nurses from other countries. Now, I don't have a problem with that. But what I have a problem with is that you would rather run to another country for nurses when you have awesome nurses here. But you don't want to figure out how to keep us. You don't want to figure out how to retain us. Something's wrong with that picture. When I go to work every day, it is becoming a struggle. And I'm not usually one I get stressed out about things. But when you see the quality of care of your patients being compromised because you don't have enough staff, it's very, it's very bothersome. I don't make this video to discourage anybody, but what I do want you all to know is that we gotta come up with a solution. I don't know what that solution is. How to get us in a situation or back to a place where we can be somewhat happy with being a nurse. We all have our struggles outside of work. We. We all went to nursing because we care about patients. And the problem that I'm seeing is that we are taking our stress home now. Because guess what? We had seven patients all day. Start questioning ourselves, what did we forget? And I don't think I've ever had this feeling before. So I guess what I wanna say is that Nurse, nursing is, has become very difficult. And I'm seeing so many nurses leaving the field, period, just leaving the field. I'm starting to see more nurse practitioners that have left their jobs to work on the floors. I'm running into more nurse practitioners who have just essentially done what I did, went back to the bedside. I'm seeing people who haven't even been nurses long, already ready to quit. It seemed like every day we got one nurse aide. We're running, we're running with one nurse aide, taxing our nurse aides. We don't know if we're gonna, we might start off with four nurses, four, 30 patients, and we might end up with, with three. It's like everything is so unpredictable now. And it's it's very sad, very, very sad. But what I could say is that if you're out there and you're listening to me, take care of your health, please. Because coming to the hospital right now, it ain't it. It ain't it, believe me. You wanna stay home and take care of yourself. Now, with that being said, let me make this clear. If you find yourself where you think that there's going to be impending 
the D word, I'm not going to say it, but if you don't think you're going to survive for some reason, respiratory distress, heart attack, whatever it is, go to the hospital. But for those of you who keep eating sugar, who keep eating all these things, salt, increasing fluid around your heart, and you know you don't have to do that, please stop doing it. Just stop. Okay? Just stop. Because you want to try your best to be healthy. It seems like healthcare has become more about customer service than anything. I had a patient the other day who was complaining about firing his cardiologist because his heart keeps collecting fluid. You know that pericardial space? It keeps collecting fluid. But, dude, you have a big, like, cheese, Philly cheesesteak with cheese slathered all over it. And... Not to mention, guess what? You wasn't supposed to have that. Come on now. We need everybody to start doing their part in terms of their health because yes, nurses are being taxed. Nurses are being taxed. And believe me, you want to take care of yourself. You do, you want to take care of yourself. So anyway, just trying to give you guys an update on where I've been. And for those of you who are out there and your nurses, listen, please know that I appreciate you as a fellow nurse, a fellow nurse practitioner. And I'm going to tell you, meditate as much as you can. Involve yourself in self-care because let me tell you, I'm out here trying to enjoy nature because guess what? That's what makes me happy. The sun. You see that sun? Look at that. I love it. I love it. So anyway, I'd like to thank all my subscribers because I've gained so many subscribers over the last, you know, couple weeks. And I'm so appreciative. And my goal is to bring you more and more and more videos. And all my OGs. I love you guys and uh, I hope this video hasn't offended anybody but uh, I just have to start speaking the truth you know as much as I try to maintain professionalism I have to speak the truth I'm not discouraging any new people who want to be nurses <laughs> I just came with that heel yep yep but I'm not trying to discourage anybody Trust me, I'm not. But what I want you to know is that be ready to enter into nursing and don't be afraid. But just know that it's not what it used to be. You know? But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And give it a thumbs up. See, I'm also out of shape. Oh, hallelujah. I'm out of shape. Like, uh, this is not normal, okay? But I've spent most of my life uh, trying to be healthy. But I have to admit, these last, what, year and a half, things have changed. Things have changed for a lot of us, and uh, we got to try to figure out how can we get back to somewhat normalcy. But anyway, thank you for watching. I love you guys, and uh, I will be back soon. Bye.